Tomorrow, millions of people across California are expected to take part in this year's Great California Shakeout. Given the valley's proximity to the San Andreas Fault, officials say it is always important to be ready for a major earthquake. I spoke in depth today with the county's senior public information specialist, Shane Reichart. Shane, first off, for folks who are not familiar with the Great California Shakeout, what is it and why is it important? So the Great Shakeout is an opportunity to practice what you would do in an actual earthquake. Fortunately, we don't get that many of them. The unfortunate side is that a lot of people, a lot of times people forget what they need to be doing when an earthquake actually happens. So the shakeout is that opportunity to be able to practice what, uh, what we recommend you do in an earthquake. Um, so drop cover and hold on, and then also have that conversation about what it looks like if you were to have an earthquake in your workplace or with your family. A lot of us have obviously heard of drop cover and hold on, but there's more to it than that, right? So really, one of the things is understanding what drop, cover, and hold on actually means. And so when the, the earth is shaking, um, you might think that it's something, well, I'm going to run to safety. And a lot of times, you're not going to be able to do that, especially in a more significant earthquake. Um, so we want people to drop where they are. Um, they, we want them to protect their head and their torso. And then hold on. If you're able to get underneath a desk or a solid object, hold on to it because that shaking can actually move it away from you. So hold on to it. Stay, stay secure. If you're in a walker um, uh, using a wheelchair, um, using a cane, there are other things that you can do. We have some of that on our website at rivcoready.org with illustrations on how to properly secure yourself and protect yourself um, regardless of, of how you are. Something else I think a lot of folks need to keep in mind, emergency kits. What goes into an emergency kit? So everybody's emergency kit is going to be a little bit different. You, what you want to do is think about your yourself and your family and make sure that you've got a kit that is appropriate for your situation. Um, in addition to having one for your home, I always tell people, especially here in California where we're in our vehicle so much, I'm in mine right now, is have one in your car. If the, the 10 freeway were to be completely disrupted and you were stuck on the freeway for hours and hours, having some water, having some snacks, having you know a basic change of clothes. If you're in dress clothes, you may have to get out of your vehicle and go hiking to safety. That, that could be a challenge for you if, if you don't have a change of clothes with some basic stuff. I keep an old pair of tennis shoes, some jeans, uh, some, some basic stuff in my vehicle. And what are some of the events happening tomorrow that people need to know about? So for a lot of Riverside County, um, we recommend people, it's happening during at 10 o'clock on Thursday. So what we recommend for people to do is wherever you are, practice that. If you're in your workplace, review your workplace procedures for what does an, an earthquake look like? Do you have a meeting place? Do all of your employees know what that looks like? Um, schools will be practicing. So there are earthquake drills that are happening all across Riverside County. They're all going to look a little bit different depending on where they are, but it's really important, even if you don't get a chance to actually participate, that you take an, a little bit of time and review what an earthquake is going to look like for you and your family. Anything else, Shane, you would like to say before we let you go? We've got a ton of resources at our website, rivcoready.org. One of the other things you can do, and, and we've got a little friendly competition with San Bernardino County. Um, we're bigger than San Bernardino County by population, but register for shakeout.org so that you can register that and show people that you're participating. You can also get a wealth of information at shakeout.org. Um, and right now, San Bernardino County has got more people registered than we do in Riverside County. So we'd love to be able to, to have more people register and uh, show people that we take it seriously in Riverside County. All right, Shane, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.